We are InfoSec and OffSec company, Om VAPT Private Limited. Security is mostly a superstition. Life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all. This is one of my favorite quotes from a well-known writer, Helen Keller. Some of the humor, uh, why information security or why offensive security is essential for all kinds of businesses. A guy went for an interview at a big IT company today for a position of computer hacking and forensic investigator. His boss or the one who is going to interview him is going to ask, so what makes you suitable for this job? And the guy replies, I hacked into a computer and invited myself to this interview. Someone pretends as her husband, yes honey, I am at the bank to wire the money for the processing fee for that loan. Once, his, once her husband comes back home, then he finds it out that the phone number whom they have received the phone is that's related to some of the fast food restaurant in Tennessee. Don't do it. I checked whose phone number that, num that number on the answering machine was. Not a bank. It's a fast food restaurant in Tennessee. This is no loan officer. This is one of the best examples for phishing. Why is it called phishing? Phishing is pronounced just like phishing, but instead of F, F I S H I N G, it's pronounced as P H I S H I N G, or it's spelled as P H I S H I N G. It's all about tricking people to give out their passwords. It is spelled with PH due to a long-time hacker tradition to use PH instead of F. One more humor, Gilbert, I am Mordek, the preventer of information services. I know we have worked together for years and it still sounds awesome when I say it. Anyway, I upgraded our network security to include facial recognition. Your temporary password is this phase. You will need extensive plastic surgery to log on for the first time. You have gone too far, Mordek. I will escalate this. <coughs> so he approaches his senior management or leadership team, and the leadership team replies, I wish we would had this conversation a week ago. His leadership team has already morphed their face, or they have already performed face plastic surgery for their face to meet the standards of upgraded facial recognition algorithms which Mordak has done that. One more humor uh, but it's more of uh, incident as well. Do you have malware, adware, crimeware? Is your computer a bot? Often infected machines are controlled by the attacker. The machines turn into electronic puppets. The crooks who control these machines or bots are called bot herders. The bot herders control thousands of machines and make them do whatever makes a buck for the crooks. This is a zombie network or botnets. Our vision Validate the effectiveness of the organization's security posture to enhance the risk mitigation strategy even before malicious hackers could target. Defense in depth, we can also call it as a layered security approaches because if you look at any of the industries, there are multiple security layers like antivirus scanners, rule based access controls, firewalls, demilitarized zone DMZs, virtual private networks, gateway antiviruses, intrusion prevention systems like IPSs or intrusion detection system IDSs. There are a plethora of security layers which is called defense in depth. However, the problem remains still the same. Best of the best defense in depth strategy has not stopped the viruses, malware, security breaches, social engineering, so on and so forth. The weakest link is always a human in the security domain. So that's what we say, to catch a thief, police has to think like a thief. One more humor, what's your address? Uh, the guy replies 127.0.0.1 it's one of the IP address no it's your physical address and then he replies in hexadecimal 
colon 25, colon B5, colon AA, colon 01, colon 1F. Uh, everyone says it's a private data. Keep your data safe. It's safe and store your data securely. However, this is what is happening in all of the big private clouds. So as soon as you put the private data, so someone in the data miners, they keep on picking and pulling and they are validating and selling it for advertising agencies. This is for all, almost all of the industries. So I don't want to specify anyone at this point in time because there are many. Well, in case if you have a kids and if you don't want, if your kids are not eating vegetables, you can always tell them, eat those veggies or I will change the Wi-Fi password. I hope it works. So let's look into the, some of the emerging technologies that why offensive security is imperative like vulnerability assessment, penetration testing, so on and so forth. Identity theft. So as whenever we display a photo, whenever we post for a photo with a peace sign, if we have a megapixel or gigapixel cameras and we can take those photos and we can extract those fingerprints and use those fingerprints to identity to perform identity theft and as well as to take a loan in behalf of someone's name without even aware of them. So that's what it says fingerprints can be stolen with just a selfie photo. Peace sign selfies could let hackers copy your fingerprints. This can be accessed https colon double slash ompt dot in slash fingerprint hyphen hack. So the iris scan, I mean this was much before the Apple Face ID came into public. Samsung's iris scan authentication has been broken by using the photo. Samsung Galaxy S8's facial recognition security feature has already been tricked. This can be accessed https colon double slash ompt dot in slash iris hyphen hack. Black Hat Search Engine Optimization Black Hat SEO attacks, persistent multi-attack vectors prey on thousands of legitimate websites. More info can be accessed from https colon double slash ompt dot in slash black hat black hyphen hat hyphen SEO. IoT botnets, Internet of Things. Massive DDoS attacks against Dyn DNS service knocks popular sites. More information can be accessed from https colon double slash ompt dot in slash iot hyphen botnets. One more iot hacks and counter hacks. Thief trapped in car after BMW remotely locks stolen 5 series doors. As soon as a thief entered inside the BMW car, the security team was monitoring continuously what's happening. So as soon as the thief entered inside the BMW cars, the security monitoring team has logged them inside and they alerted the police. Of course, the more information can be accessed from a short uh, from our brand URL and as well as a short URL, https colon double slash ompt dot in slash bmw hyphen locked hyphen thief. There's one more, Android phone hacks could unlock millions of cores. So a thief has hacked millions of cores which was running an Android operating system because there was no security monitoring team in place and as well as it was very vulnerable. So more information about the Android phone can be accessed at https colon double slash ompt dot in slash car hyphen hacks. SGN this is one more emerging technology software defined networking and it's also called in most of the scenarios software defined data center. SGN or SGDC. It's an approach to computer networking that allows network administrators to programmatically initialize, control, change, and manage network behavior dynamically via open interfaces and abstraction of lower level functionality. There are two things to go to understand much deeper in the software defined networking. One is a control plane and one more is a data plane. Security threats to software-defined networking. More information can be accessed 
from https colon double slash ompt dot in slash sdn hyphen threats. It installs malicious controller to send malicious instruction to the underlying SDN devices. Man in the middle attack for communication between the controllers and the SDN devices to change the instruction sent by the trusted controller. There's one more, evading machine learning. Server starts evading machine learning. It's one of the variant of ransomware. More information can be accessed at https colon double slash ompt dot in slash ransomware hyphen evasion. Industrial control systems. This is one of the most well-known notorious malware, Shamoon malware and SCADA security. What are the impacts? Of course, the entire energy, the power grid was turned off for days. More information can be accessed at https colon double slash ompt dot in slash high cs hyphen shaboon spelled as s h a m double o n. Virtual reality or augmented reality. It's called VR, AR, and a blend of both VR and AR mixed reality is the computer-generated simulation of a three-dimensional image or environment that can be interfaced or interacted with in a seemingly real or physical way by a person using special electronic equipment, such as a helmet with a screen inside or gloves fitted with the sensors. VR or AR or combo of both mixed reality can be hacked as well. This is very close to hypnotism or in digital terms called Brine Component Interface BCI Hacks. Uh, to give you more evidence and to give you more insights about it, the recent one Elon Musk has launched a Neuralink to merge the human brain with artificial intelligence. Uh, more information can be accessed at https colon double slash ompt dot in slash brine hyphen x. Hackers could get inside your brain https colon double slash ompt dot in slash bci iphone hacks so how can we safeguard all these things of course you have to undergo extensive security monitoring and as well as perform vulnerability assessment and penetration testing for your infrastructure and for your entire organization some of the offerings what we do in the information security or cyber security domain has been listed below. External black hat pen test. It simulates like of a malicious hacker with the intent to fix the vulnerabilities or security gaps. There's one more white hat pen test. If you want to assess the insider's threat of an organization to identify the insider's attack of a disgruntled employee. Vulnerability assessment. We perform vulnerability assessment and even help you strategize the vulnerability management as well. So vulnerability assessment can be shortened as VA and penetration testing is also called PT or pen test. Our solutions. We are experts in the InfoSec domain, VA, PT and as well as OFSEC or offensive security domain. Vulnerability assessment. Analyzing the vulnerabilities in the entire organization or the IT infrastructure. Vulnerabilities are nothing but the security gaps. Penetration testing. Before we perform penetration testing, we go through the extensive risk assessment. In case if the risk assessment has not been done for the organization, we'll ask them to go with the risk assessment because that's very imperative. We need to know what information should be protected and that's where we'll get the information once the risk assessment, assess, risk assessment has been performed. Then we begin with the vulnerability assessment, find the security gaps or vulnerabilities. Then we validate the vulnerabilities to sort out the false positives by either performing penetration testing or by authenticated scanning. Let's look at some of the phases of penetration testing. Reconnaissance, we can also call it as Ricky or Recon, scanning and, scanning and enumeration, gaining access, 
escalate privileges, maintaining access, and clearing their tracks. So reconnaissance is a military term. It's a preparatory or predatory phase. It's as good as we'll be observing before we perform an attack. We'll be observing and analyzing the enemies at how much enemies they are and what is their capabilities. Then we perform scanning and enumeration. It's like network scanning and we perform how many ports are open and what all services are running and what kind of server it is, whether it's a Windows, Linux or Mac or is, it, is there any networking devices like routers and switches which are open. So then we can enumerate, then we gather all those accounts. It could be normal accounts, it could be guest accounts or it could be normal standardized accounts. Once we get those all those details like servers, operating system, ports and as well as the some of the accounts, uh, usernames and we'll try to enter them. Of course we might use several methods to penetrate the password or break, break the password like brute force attacks, uh, various uh, cracking me mechanisms for the passwords. Once we obtain the access to the operating system or the application then we try to escalate the privileges. Obviously without a administrator or root privileges will not be able to do much, will not be able to get more information. So that's that's the next step. Once we are able to succeed in escalating or elevating the privileges, then we obviously had to maintain the backdoors. We obviously had to maintain that particular access without even awareing of the security monitoring team or the IT team as well. So that's where we create the backdoors, we install the rootkits, so on and so forth. And once we do all those things, we, need, we have obviously had to ensure that we had to clear the tracks. We remove the log entries, we remove every remnant which might lead to an audit trail. So let's look at step by step uh, the basic ones. Of course, if you want to begin a project with us, if you want to engage us with any of the security offerings, we obviously ask you to sign NDA, which is a non-disclosure agreement, and then perform risk assessment, because that's very imperative what information should be protected. Then we begin with the vulnerability assessment, finding the security gaps. It's like a gap analysis, but specifically focused for the IT infrastructure. In case if the client wants to go for a penetration testing, then rules of engagement or OE or agreement of pen testing, AOPT, is very essential. We need to get the proper permissions and approval from chief information security officer or chief information officer. Usually the decision makers and the risk management stakeholders who knows what exactly the information security posture of their organization. Then we begin with the penetration testing validating all those security gaps or vulnerabilities what we have found from the vulnerability assessment and then we take some time to report uh, to provide a suitable remediation to the multiple stakeholders for auditors for IT for as well as for the chief information security officer and even for the respective leadership team Penetration testers. We have a plenty of people in the penetration testers who have their own expertise in each of their domain. Well, we are extremely pleased to announce the distributorship to get the distributorship rights from one of the company called Dell Labs, which is a Montreal, Canada based which is the first autonomous artificial intelligent enabled smart vulnerability assessment. The first AI enabled autonomous smart vulnerability assessment with unified interface for IoT, Internet of Things, servers, networks and websites. Plus it has advanced machine learning and deep neural learning techniques. More information can be accessed https colon double slash ompt.in slash apj if you have any questions, please feel free to speak to us or please feel free to email us or connect us on social networks. Thank you for your time. Namaste.
Our website is https colon double slash ohmvapt.com. Let's socialize securely with Ohm. Facebook, Ohm VAPT, and Twitter, we are present as Ohm VAPT. And even on LinkedIn, if you search Ohm VAPT hyphen private hyphen limited, you will get our company page.